Hi, it's Frank Del Rio here with Century 21, and welcome back to my video blog, your place for real estate information, ideas, and how to get the most out of the real estate market. Well, summer is here, the kids are getting out of school, families are getting ready to take their vacations, and I wrote down some thoughts about keeping your home safe during your vacation. Now, the best way to do this while you're, you're, you know, you're home, have your home in your absence here is to make sure it appears like you're actually home when you're gone. So I wrote out a few thoughts and some tips to consider before you leave. I'll go through and touch base on a few of them, but the rest are here in the article below. You can feel free to take a look at them at your convenience. In no order of importance, I wrote down number one, consider hiring a house sitter, or if you have pets and you're not taking them with you, a pet sitter. This could be a pricey option, but it's a solution that really touches all of the bases. The second thing that I wrote down is if you're comfortable, ask your neighbors, to hold your mail or your newspapers, any deliveries that you get on a regular basis, ask them to hold them for you. Now, if you don't feel comfortable with this, you can always go to the post office and you can ask them to temporarily suspend any and all deliveries. They'll hold typically from three to 30 days. They'll hold everything for you. Now, if you want to save yourself a trip to the post office, you can do this online and submit the same request. The third thing that I wrote down is make your home look like it's lived in. You know, you want the, the lights to be on timers for the, both the exterior and the interior of the home. Open up a few shades. You want to keep the lawns and the landscape trimmed and manicured. We're trying to help create the illusion that someone is still home. The fourth thing that I wrote down is lock up and provide your neighbors, your family, or your friends with some emergency contact numbers. This is important in the event they need to get a hold of you. The fifth thing, and, and really this is going to be the toughest one for everyone, don't update your social networks. You know, Facebook, Twitter, Foursquare, LinkedIn, heaven forbid someone find out you're out on vacation, right? I mean, this could be this public acknowledgement here while you're gone hundreds of miles away, you could be robbed. So you really, you really wanna, you wanna be a little bit discreet here when it comes to updating your networks, right? So use some caution when you talk about this because the less information you put out there, the less likely it is to reach the wrong ears and eyes. So for more tips, as I mentioned, you can read below here in the article. And of course, if you have, inf have questions or you want information on buying or selling, or if you just want to know what your home is worth in today's market, you can call me direct at 626-780-2705. You can send me a text to that same number, or you can email me. With that said, I hope you have a great day. And remember, you can subscribe for free above here in the link. Or if you want, feel free to forward this information out to some of your friends and your families. And just really, you know, it helps get the word out there. And I greatly appreciate it. So until next time, take care and have an awesome day.